Hey there, it's Mandy from Designer Chameleon. Today I'm going to give you another peek into how I sort the books that I read or listen to on Audible or from the library and how I track the different series so that I know which book that I'm on, all those fun things. So if you're a reader, and I know a lot of you are, uh, I thought this video might be interesting to you to see what I've decided to go with uh, now for my book logs. So I first started by going to uh, Hobby Lobby and Joann's, and I have really scoured and gotten myself a ton of new just notebooks uh, on clearance. So if you are really into the Happy Planner uh, ring bound journals and notebooks and planners, um, if you haven't been checking out the sales, if you're watching this video anywhere near the time that I'm filming it, which is around St. Patrick's Day, if you can't tell by my nails, uh, there are great deals to be had. I think I paid $3 for this journal. So what I've done is I've decided this one is going to be for my books. And I've started to mock up a page. Um, I'm doing the author and the name of the series. And then for this one in particular, I'm using an open book tracker that I've written down all the names of the books in this series. So this is Catherine Coulter's FBI thriller ser series. I love these books. If you like thrillers with just a tiny little bit of romance thrown into them, these are fantastic. And sorry, I always feel like I need to point this out. I scribble sometimes notes on the margins of my sticker sheets. Uh, if I write NFS, it's not for sale. So this one, um, I didn't like the way that it lined up on the page, so I would not be selling it to you, but for using it in my own personal planner, it's perfectly fine. So in case you're wondering what my scribbles are, that's what that means. Um, so the other thing that I'm doing while I'm moving my book list and my series information over to this new notebook is I'm trying to work on my drop shadow lettering. Now, if you have ever tried drop shadow lettering and you're good at it, my hat is off to you. I bow down. You're awesome. I stink at it. It is hard. And one of the things that I did to try and help myself learn to do a better job is I made myself a cheat sheet or a practice sheet. So this is kind of a basic script font, nothing too crazy, because the point is to work on the shadowing and not the lettering in this, you know, practice sheet. So I put a drop shadow on all of the text, and I have this available for download on my Patreon page. And you don't need to be a patron of mine to download it. It's free to the public. Anyone can download it. So I will make sure that there is a link if learning how to do drop shadow lettering is something that you're interested in or maybe something that you've struggled with like I have. So set that aside, I'm using this as an opportunity to practice. So what I did was I went ahead and I wrote in my header in pencil um, with kind of a basic script, but with a little bit of bounce, trying some fun new things. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab just a Crayola marker and go over this. And then I'm going to add my drop shadowing. Now, if you do a lot of lettering, you know that going slow is the key. So I promise I'll speed this up for you um, while I slowly letter out this title. Okay, now that I've got the basic lettering done, I'm going to go in and do some drop shadowing. The trick with drop shadowing is you always want to be on the inside and underside of the letter. And it's really easy to mess up. I mess up constantly. I'm still learning. But if you want to check out someone learning with you, this is basically what you'll get from the little cheat sheet or practice sheet that I put together.
Okay, so as you can see, um, I added some drop shadowing. It's not bad. It's definitely a work in progress. I've seen worse. I'm still learning, but you get the general idea. So once this ink is fully, fully dry, I will go in with an eraser and erase all of my pencil marks. For now, what I'm going to do is just take my sticker, this open book with all of the books listed, and lay it down on the page. And I might go back in later and add some embellishments but really, if you're just tracking all your books, this is all you need. I have every book in the series. I have the author. I have the main characters here just because it helps me remember which series exactly this is in case it's one that I haven't read in a while. And I can keep track. And then on the back, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these little mini book stacks. This is the Brit and the FBI series. And then I'll use the rest of these for some of her other series that I'm going to be reading soon as well. I might add between the tabs different genres of books, um, and that's my plan. So if you're a reader, if you want to keep track, I do have all of these available in my shop. I also have them available as an ultimate bookworm kit if you would like to have just all of the different options available at your fingertips, makes it easy. You can tr also track with star ratings or heart ratings which books you like and which books you didn't. And that's it. So special shout out as always to my patrons and you can get this quick and easy download sheet for practicing on my Patreon also even if you're not a patron. So I hope you have a great day and enjoy your reading. Bye.